Hi people, welcome to Insight with Pape Masa. So today I'm presenting to you our research that was uh, published online in the British Journal of Sports and Medicine. So today we are talking matters health and um, our insight statement is uh, brisk walking for two and a half hours a week could prevent early death that is caused by lack of sleep. So uh, we know that poor sleep is uh, one of the things that is linked to a range of life threatening conditions and among them we have heart diseases, we have cancer and we also have strokes and so according to that study um it involved 380,055 people and the study was done over 11 years and it found that exercising uh, this is in line with the world health organization guidelines help to prevent the conditions that i just mentioned and so the research suggested that for us to have a healthy life uh, it suggested that two and a half hours of walking or even just one hour and 15 minutes of running that is per week and i quote what they said so doing that eliminated most of the deleterious associations of poor sleep and the risk of an early death meaning that uh, we add to the conditions that we have that is the heart diseases stroke and cancer one thing uh, that uh, we also suffer from if we don't do regular exercises per week then we also suffer premature death and so uh, according to the research people who did low levels of exercising or even no exercises uh, exercise at all and uh, people who uh, sleep poorly so low exercise or no exercise at all and then also you don't get enough sleep you know that the recommended amount of time that we need to sleep is eight hours of which maybe according to the current lifestyles we barely get eight hours of sleep but you can compensate that with doing regular exercises and so the site found out that people who did low levels of exercising and also slept poorly were 57 percent more likely to die prematurely and such people also had a 67 percent higher risk of developing cardiovascular diseases and a 45 percent bigger chance of a being diagnosed with cancer and also uh, we said that uh, 380,055 people were involved in the research and so among them with an average most of them were uh, at the average age, age of 65 so 15,503 people had died by the time the study ended so by the end of the 11 years and out of those 4,095 people had died of cardiovascular diseases 9,064 died out of cancer 1,932 died due to coronary heart disease 395 died from brain hemorrhage you know the bleeding in the brain and 450 died from a blood clot related stroke and so uh, the researchers it was uh, a partnership between the University College London and the University of Sydney and uh, when they did the uh, comment uh, as they concluded the research they said our results support the value of interventions to concurrently target physical activity and sleep to improve health so meaning that we're looking at um, improved physical activity among uh, people around the world and also um, getting enough sleep so uh, we know that sometimes we might not really have all that time to sleep because of our busy schedules we have to be out there but if you can't get enough sleep that just make sure that you do some regular exercise because you don't want to suffer premature death and other cardiovascular related diseases so that is what i have for um, our insight today until next time it's bye for now